I was called to a fatality accident, motor vehicle accident on the intersection of the Greek River Road and the, what we call the Murray River Road. McGuigan went through the intersection, didn't stop and hit the, hit the uh, van, the Vuso van on the side. Uh, I know there was uh, Alfred McGuigan, his wife, and I think their daughter and I believe their son was in the vehicle. And there didn't seem to be any other injuries other than the, the little girl. She happened to be on the side where the vehicle struck. I arrived at the scene and found a Vuso vehicle off the side of the road and uh, the van, and it was struck by a half-ton truck driven by Herb McGuigan. The little girl, a nine-year-old girl, I believe she was, uh, died at the scene. Once the scene was processed type of thing, our attention turned to the driver of the vehicle. We processed him, found him to be impaired. Eventually, he was charged with the criminal negligence causing death and received a sentence of, I think it was nine months. Nine months for, for a criminal negligence causing the death of a nine-year-old girl, I thought seemed lenient. However, that's the court system determines what's appropriate sentence and we have to live with that. I, I didn't hear of any, any further animosity between either of the families. Now that's not to say there wasn't. Uh, none of it was brought to my attention. This obviously didn't just happen. He must have been thinking about that all these years and just came to a head. So if he was thinking about this and if it was bothering him all this time, then that, that's a shame, you know, because there was help available if he had have reached out, you know. To think that he held that much animosity for that long a period of time.